Remember I said to you guys I wanted to get a ton of Japanese wrestling games for the Super Famicom? They arrived quite a while ago, but I've been so busy with everything else on the channel that I haven't had a chance to properly sit down and play them. This is an issue I always have with wrestling bios. I say I want to do things and plan future videos, but then I get annihilated with other videos and reliving the war. When reliving the war ends, I'll have much more time to do other more varied videos, but as it stands now, I'm just digging my own grave by promising new uploads. With that in mind, today's a free day and I want to try a few of these games, so what I'm going to do is play the games and record my initial thoughts, completely unscripted. Down the road I will give these releases more time and give them a proper in-depth look if anything stands out, but right now I just want to play the games and give my initial thoughts. No doubt there's going to be a lot of frustration seeing as all of these games are in Japanese, but we'll struggle through it and we'll see what's up. First, we're going to try All Japan Pro Wrestling, released in 1993. All the footage you're about to see today was captured from a real Super Famicom, not that that matters to you, but I thought I'd let you know. And also, there are no Fire Pro games in this video. The Fire Pro games will get covered at a later date. I thought it would maybe be better to show you guys some games that you've maybe never seen before. Alright, first up, it's All Japan Pro Wrestling from 1993. Oh. <laughs> Listen to that, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on here. Oh my god. Alright. Already I feel a bit intimidated. Uh, I'm going to assume this is one player story mode. Or something. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to stick with easy today. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here's Baba. Uh, Gordy. Johnny is. <laughs> uh, there's the Patriot. So let's try the Patriot and see what's up here. I have no idea what to expect. Oh, okay. Um, they kind of walk. <laughs> the wrestlers have like really bad backs. What's going on here? All right, I'm winning these lockups, and I don't know, don't know how I'm doing it. Let's see what's going on here. Punch, kick. Another punch. Um, how do I lock up? Alright, so... I just kind of defaulted the Fire Pro controls kind of thing for locking up, and it seems to be working. So, you just lock up, and just as long as the timing's right, I think you can... A direction button with Y or... B is doing moves, I think. Uh, first impressions, eh, it, it's colorful. Um, the audience looks good. Commentary team looks good. Uh, the wrestlers kind of walk around like there's something wrong <laughs> with their posture. Uh, um, oh, he's out of the ring. The lockup system. Let's see. Oh, I missed. The lockup system's kind of, as I say, like Fire Pro. Um, very easy to do your grapple moves. Oh, it's a big DDT from the Patriot. Very, very easy to, to pick up and play, All Japan. Oh, and the back body drop from the Patriot. There's probably more to this that I don't really haven't realized yet, but it's it's okay. I go to the top rope. Oh no shit, I <laughs> just ran into the, the corner. Okay, that's us up. Come on over, come on over. Yeah, you right there, that'll do. <laughs> His health's right down. I mean, Yeah, there we go. First ever game, and I, I won. It was pretty. It was pretty easy. Um, 
Yeah, it, it's basic. Um, and obviously, I don't know what any of those other modes are. Um, so there might be more to this. But it's it's not bad. Oh. We've got some other New Japan games, or sorry, All Japan games to look at in this video. So I think we'll move on to the next game. Uh, we'll maybe look at a New Japan game. Oh, come on, kick it. Uh, we'll look at a New Japan game and we'll come back to All Japan in a moment. But yeah, good good enough start here. Uh, this, is, this is fine. All right, so this is New Japan Fantastic Story. Just having my morning coffee here as I play this. No idea what they expect, but let's see what happens. We can see the Tokyo Dome in the background, looking as uh, fantastic as always. Yo, this better be fantastic. I I I'm expecting big things here. Oh shit, here we go. There's Institution Lager. Uh, Hase, uh, uh, Hiroshi Hase. It's, why are they doing like this little catwalk thing? <laughs> Uh, let's just watch this. That's uh, Hiroshi Hase. It's the Great Muda. Already, this roster's pretty sick. Ricky Toshi. Big Vader. Big Van Vader. Special move, the Vader attack. Very much doubt you're going to see any um, special moves as I play through this. Flash Norton. His special move's the Power Slam. <laughs> Big Flash. Who's next? Oh shit, that's uh, Ludwig Borga. Yeah, Ludwig Borga. Um, Fujinami, Fujinami. <laughs> Forgot there. Tatsumi Fujinami. I'm not big in Japanese wrestling at all. That's uh, Hashimoto. There's my, my dog just walked into the room. You might hear some pitter patter in the background. Masahiro Chono. Who else? Oh, that's it. That's that's not a bad roster. That's not a bad roster at all. Okay, we can do the G1 Climax or a versus battle. So it's just basically one player or two player. Who are we going to go for? I'm very surprised that Ludwig Borga being in this game. But there you go. Um, Let's go with Muda. No idea what this is. Alright, so we've got very big sprites right here. Remember when this was released? You, you know, it's... The, the characters look great. I think. Alright, let's be having you, Lager. Uh, oh, oh. Holy shit. It's like... Five frames per second. Oh, I just got par slammed. Okay, so the... Oh, what's going on here? What's going on? I don't know what I'm doing at all. Uh, Lagger's... Beating the shit out of me. Stop! As soon as I get to my feet, it's it's a lockup, and then how do I win the lockup? Maybe it's like Fire Pro, and you got to do it. That's more timing based. I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting fucked up so badly. Like, uh, give me a chance, man. Oh, I nearly drop kicked him, and I nearly drop kicked him again, and he drop kicked me. <laughs> oh, lagger bomb! I am getting completely fucked up here. This is. This is like, he's perfected me. But whatever I did, Lager, I'm sorry. Just should, have mercy, Jesus. So clearly this isn't going to be the kind of thing I can just put on and have fun with and talk about and show you how to play because I have no idea what just happened. So let me come back to this. Give me one moment. I need to look up game FAQs and see what's going on. This was fucking brutal. Alright, so I'm reading up here on uh, game FAQs and listen to this. Th this is how you do grapples in this game. 
During the lockup animation, both wrestlers will join hands and bend their knees back and forth. During this animation, a small window of time will be initiated where the first wrestler to successfully input their command the fastest will win the lockup and be able to perform their inputted attack. Right, so we gotta wait for their the legs to bend. Um and then that's it. You should be able to do a lockup. Maybe Muda just sucks balls and um Lagger's the the guy to beat, so let's pick Lagger this time. I bet, I bet this is Muda. I bet I'm going to wrestle Muda and he's going to f*** me up. No? Okay, it's Hase. Right. So, grapple. Watch for the leg bend. Ah. Oh, here we go. Right. So, let's try that again. Lock up. Leg bend. I'm a f***. Master at this game. I am the fucking king of. Oh no, maybe not. See, what I'm doing is I'm pressing it too early. You gotta wait for that animation. So let's lock up. Let's lock up, boy. Come on, come on. No. <laughs> oh, and it's a bulldog. Alright, um, first impressions. It looks good. It looks good. It looks great. Um, but it plays like absolute <laughs> dog shit, to be honest. It's it's not the smoothest experience, and obviously this is only my second game and I'm still trying to learn how to fing do lockups. You know, some people would say, you know, well, you know, like, how how dare you talk bad about New Japan Pro Wrestling, you know. That, that's a rope break if I've ever saw one there. My head was hanging off the f***ing apron. Um, yeah, some people would be like, you know, how dare you talk bad about New Japan and you, know, the, you have to remember when this game came out and all that nonsense, but this is bad. Uh, uh, and not just because I'm bad at it, like, just look at it. Look at it. All right, so I'm going to move on to something else, but honestly, uh, it doesn't play too great. You know, even if I did properly learn how to play this game, I don't think I would enjoy it too much. Just the matches seem to take a, a long time. The animation and, you know, the lack of the lack of animation, the how slow it is, it's I mean, great, you know, good first effort, and I, I really do like how the characters look, but... Uh, no. Let's try something else, and uh, we'll leave this in the not-so-good pile. It's... It, uh, yeah, f*** it, let's try something else. Zen Nippon Pro Wrestling Fight the Pawn. All Japan Pro Wrestling Fight the Pawn. Whatever that means, I don't know. This is not your typical wrestling game at all. Which you're going to see in a moment. Now, there is no way I'm going to be able to play this. I don't know what the hell any of this means. Um, run away. Um, get shouted at by a little dude. One on one. Spooky ghosts. I don't know, but let's just do this. Yes. <laughs> Look at Baba. What's going on? <laughs> All right, he's got a newspaper. He's getting all depressed or something. Can I walk here? No. He's just standing there. Um, reading newspapers. <laughs> What's going on? Um, you're making me dizzy. <laughs> right, let's just... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's, uh, there's Abby. Abdullah the Butcher's here to... Oh, what, what did he do that for? That, that was, that was evil. 
All right, so it looks like, as you can see here, it looks like a board game. Okay, so. What's card? Kick. And this is the gameplay. This is what a match looks like. So you gotta pick cards, basically. It's a card game. And I'm not gonna know what to do here at all, but. Bob is getting his ass kicked. And this is this is the game. This is the main the, the main portion of the game. This is the main wrestling part of the game. Where you just pick cards and I have no idea what any of these cards do or what, you know, when's the best time to use a certain card or so I'm guessing it, it kind of works on like a rock, paper, scissors sort of thing, you know, where you have to, you know, one card cancels another sort of thing. But let's try go for the fall. And we won. <laughs> and that's uh, Zen Nippad's All Japan Pro Wrestling Fight the Pawn. Um, we just unlocked a new card and make your way around. You know, it probably would be fun if you could understand what's going on. Um, clearly I don't have a clue what's going on, but a very unique wrestling game for sure. Um, and yeah, let's try something else. New Japan Pro Wrestling 94 Battlefield in the Tokyo Dome in stereo. Sucked pretty badly at the previous New Japan game, so let's see if this one's any different. So it's pretty easy to work out what's going on here. A uh, Super Dream Match, G1, two player, I assume. And a battle scramble. Let's just go here, see what happens. All right, who have we got this time? Bigger roster, um, loads more names. There's Road Warrior Hawk. Um, Hercules? <laughs> uh, Big Papa Pump, Chris Benoit, I believe. Let's go with Big pop a pump. See what's going on. All right. Looks like we've got entrances and I can't skip it. Uh. Uh, this really needs a uh, standardized. I wish you could skip this. Doesn't seem to be a way to to start the match. All right, first of all, the previous New Japan game, in my opinion, looked better. But that doesn't mean much. You know, if this plays better, then you, you would take the downgrade. Uh, Scotty looks a bit looks a bit plump, doesn't he? Uh, lock up. All right, so yeah, we've got the usual Fire Pro grapple system going on. It looks like two energy meters up at the top. Green is health, and the other is going up as I perform moves. So I'm going to assume that that's the special meter. It's so easy to start button mashing and forgetting that you have to time your time your moves when in the grapple state i really want to try this time and actually win a match um it definitely plays a lot smoother than the previous new japan game at the cost of the big colorful sprites but And maybe, oh, do you see the way that referee, uh, and the way he slid over? What a guy. No red shoes. Right, we need to... Maybe it's not the two buttons to do a finisher. 
Let go. Let go. We're going to get counted out. How to get in the ring? I don't know how to get back in the ring. There we go. Oh, we're going to win by count out. That'll do. I'll take that. I will take that. Yeah, I want to win a match properly. I, I want to win via pinfall or submission, so let's try again. Oh, and it's a big power bomb. Suplex from Steiner. Submission moves don't seem to have any effect on your the yellow bar. Oh, okay, he done a finisher there. Um, if we put that back, you'll see his yellow bar went down when he pulled off that move. So the bar doesn't need to be filled. Oh no. So let me try. How do you do? Let me try. No. Let me try Y and B. Oh, 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 oh Steiner screwdriver. No way. Ha. <laughs> This game's already awesome. You can do this the Steiner screwdriver. So finisher seems to be Y and B together. That's that's weird he has the screwdriver and not the Frankensteiner. I am not complaining, but maybe they have more than one finisher. Maybe if I just throw him off the ropes. Let me throw you off the ropes. Oh. Mm, no. Ah, oh, it's over. Uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. A big improvement over Fantastic Story, in my opinion. It doesn't look as good, but it plays way better. And I'm probably only saying that because I could actually play this game and I couldn't play the last one. So, yeah, thumbs up here for Battlefield and the Tokyo Dome. So here's a funny one here. This is uh, Onizuka Katsuya Super Virtual Boxing. And <laughs> I ended up getting this. Uh, it was in like a package with other wrestling games that came from Japan. So I assumed it was just a wrestling game, but nah, it's a boxing game. So yeah, have a have a look. All right, to the head. Oh, whoa. Come on, knock him out. I don't, oh, oh, okay. He fucking headbutted me. What? He headbutted me to get a win. Oh, look, I'm all dazed. Three, yeah, enough of this. Let's get back to the wrestling. Five. Funaki Masakatsu Hybrid Wrestler. So this is a Pancras game. And I cheated here a bit because there is actually an English patch for this game available on romhacking.net. So we're going to be able to at least, I think it's only the commentary that's in English and it's all text based anyway, but it's better than nothing. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> English patch, he says. Um... Masakatsu uh, Funaki was the voice for Fei Long in the Street Fighter 2 animated movie. We'll try Mysterio location. Okay, so we can fight in the ring, the a scaffold, the desert, street, and balcony. We'll go with we'll go with ring to begin with, and then we'll maybe try something else. Um, interested in what the balcony may be. So yeah. Down at the bottom here, the from what I saw on the little images on ROM hacking, that this is what's been translated. The commentary is down at the bottom. 
as you can see. Um, Y button does these strikes. It's like, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Uh, X, a high kick. A B is another. So uh, it looks like I've got three strike buttons and a block button. Oh, he caught me. A lot of the screen's taken up with the commentary at the bottom, but it, it's very, very smooth. Um, this isn't bad. <laughs> this isn't bad at all. Um, definitely more emphasis on fighting and striking, more so than uh, wrestling, it seems. If I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure how I'm doing these, the, the wrestling moves. I don't know how I'm, if it's just you getting close for a lockup or what the story is. I tried two buttons at the same time and it's not doing anything. Top it. We just won. Somehow we just won. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Um, let's quit out and try the scaffold. I want to see if it's like a scaffold match. Let's try this Papa Shango looking dude. <laughs> okay, the ring's just on top of a scaffold. Look at the way he walks. The f**k's his problem. <laughs> he is done. Oh, he's back. He's back. Another power bomb. So I'm pretty sure for the grapple moves, it's just B button close. And look, we've just put a hole in the ring. Can, can we go through the ring? Oh, we gotta go through the ring. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come here. Oh, and there he goes. There he goes. That's it, much. Oh, you don't even see anything. Hey, it's <laughs> it's different. Right, let's see if there's anything else we can do in these other levels. Let's try the straight uh, with barricades. No barricades. Continue. I said no barricades, what's this shit? Character here kind of reminds me of Ric Flair. Don't know if that's what they were going for, if, if these are fictional characters or real fighters, not sure. Yeah, this, this is good. I like this. L let's try the other levels. Uh, welcome to a military base. A uh, uh, military base in the desert. Alright, I don't think anything exciting is going to happen here, so let's check out the balcony. Alright, this is the balcony match, and it looks like we can fall off the edge of the balcony. Here we go. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, yeah. So far, the first All Japan game that we played and this uh, hybrid uh, Pancras game has been my favorite game so far. So yeah, this is good. I would actually like to play this a bit more, but we'll move on. We've got, we've got a few more to look at. JWP Pure Wrestle Queens. Now, I <laughs> know I know absolutely nothing about uh, Joshi wrestling and stuff. So please forgive my ignorance while playing through this. But yeah, ladies' night. JWP, and oh, this is interesting.
Yo, the music's the music's great. Oh yeah. If the music's anything to go by, then we're on the winner. So this looks like one-on-one -on -one championship mode. Party mode. Tutorial. Um don't know. Something tells me it's going to be another Fire Pro, you know, uh, grapple system. It's it's been that way for the last, for for pretty much every game we've played. Uh, what are we waiting for here? Okay. <laughs> These are some miserable entrances. I'm sorry, but but yeah, let, let's skip ahead. Here we go. Right, let's see if we can just walk in and lock up as normal. And yeah, it looks it looks just the same as Fire Pro. Although I can't do anything. There we go. Very very smooth gameplay. I think after playing that first New Japan game, every game just seems really smooth now, but I'm struggling here. Absolutely no noise coming from the audience. No music. Very quiet. A nice little counter move there. There again, not a lot happening. It's it seems a it seems a bit boring. I mean, little wind up punch there. Apologies, I have nothing to say here. Um, I don't know, may maybe if I had a, a bigger interest in uh, Joshi and stuff, that you know, you might get more out of this, but. It was a nice moonsault, though. Yeah, yeah. It does feel like I'm kind of dismissing it and not giving it a fair chance. But the first impressions are so bad that I don't really want to give it much more of a chance. Yeah, I'm sorry. Moving on. All Japan Pro Wrestling 2, 3, 4, Budokan. That was a bit loud and it almost blew my ears off. But yeah, we're back with the bangers. So already just looking at this demo, it looks similar to the previous game. There was actually a game in between uh, Fire, or sorry, All Japan 1 and 2. Um, one that was more focused, it was kind of like the first one, only it was more focused on tag team wrestling, I believe. Let's see, let's see if this is as good as uh, the original. Oh, look at this, we've got Furnace and Lafon. Ah, uh, yeah. That's sweet. Again, brilliant music. Don't know what his problem is, why he's walking so slow, but... Well, they don't walk like they've got uh, real bad back problems in this one, so that's uh, an improvement, visually. Oh, I <laughs> knocked him out. I don't know, these old Japan games seem to control really well. 
Like so far, I would say I would, from the limited time that I've spent with these games today, I would definitely say the All Japan games were were better. Now, th that could be wrong, and maybe there's more to the New Japan games, but so far, um, having having fun with these with these All Japan games. And you just kind of know what to do, and uh, you know the the button layout's very intuitive. It's just very easy to pick up and play. Oh, do you like this shit? Ah, oh, I, I was supposed to press a button there, and I fucked it up. Yeah, again, all Japan does it again. Oh, and the crowd's rumbling with anticipation. They're all here to see the finisher, and I don't know how to do the finisher. These, these, uh, these games deserve a bit more attention. for the submission. Single leg crab. Do it again. There we go. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, so here's a interesting set of games. We're going to look at three Astral Bout games. These were based on the, uh, what did you call it? The Fighting Rings Network promotion uh, that was owned by Akira Maeda. And what you're going to notice here is how these games evolved and uh, pretty much... 2D fighting game similar to the Street Fighter series. But you've got a selection of fighters here uh, with different backgrounds, so judo, karate, pro wrestling, uh, sambo, muay thai, things like that. So seeing as we're covering, covering wrestling games, let's just go with the wrestler. And uh, check this out. <laughs> I watched a quick video on YouTube on these uh, Astral Bout games and it's quite, it's quite interesting how they uh, you know, how they evolved over time and how they just adopted pretty much the, the Street Fighter way of doing things. Now, now, just look at this. It's pretty janky. It kind of gives me Pit Fighter vibes, which isn't great. Kind of just button mashing here and you have no idea what the hell's going on. But what's interesting is when you see the sequels and, you know, it started as this and it turned into this look at this <laughs> it's like a total different game uh it uses a more cartoony look kind of reminds you of uh what do you call it saturday night slam masters or muscle bomber you can see up in the top left that you've got body damage to deal with in this game having trouble getting up on them with feet it's also difficult to get in for a grapple So yeah, this is Astral Bout 2. Let's jump over to Astral Bout 3. Yeah, it's quite the leap, isn't it? From what I was reading, this Astral Bout 3 was developed to address some of the difficulty issues in the second game. Uh, I didn't give the second game much of a playthrough there at all, but apparently a, people were complaining about it being so hard and this one is supposed to be easier, even though I'm still getting my ass kicked. But if you go back and look at that first game and then take a look at this you know it's it, it is quite the jump it's kind of one of those games that you do want to try to get better at because it does look like it could be fun but there you have it that was a very very quick look at the astral bout games let's go back to new japan pro wrestling i, I, re I really want new japan to to, to pull out a, an excellent game. I, I want them to steal it at the end, so let's see what they've got. New Japan Pro Wrestling, fantastic, 
battlefield of the seven battle 1995 i don't know it's the 1995 new japan pro wrestling game the final one on the system i believe so let's let's see what happens battle seven g1 iwgp battle battle royal versus battle option we'll just go with the first one now if yeah scotty stanner's here so <laughs> seeing as we pulled off the uh stanner screwdriver i want to see if we can do it again what 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 oh stannerized That was uh, that, that was a very short entrance. It's probably a good thing because we haven't really witnessed any good entrances in these games so far, have we? All right. It moves faster than the last one, but I think we're losing uh, animation frames again. Aren't we? Shit, I just ran into the corner. Same deal uh, with the grapples, exact same. It's been, it's quicker. It's definitely been, uh, the, the speed has definitely been turned up quite a bit. I think I just gave him a pile driver and he fell out of the ring. Seems like the difficulty's been ramped up a little in this one in comparison to the last New Japan game we played. Because I haven't got a chance here. Of pulling, I really want to see the Steiner screwdriver again. And he's giving me Frankensteiners. Oh, what? What's going on? What the hell? We need to change. Uh, we need to change our, our strategy right here because this isn't good. Kick out! Come on, kick out! Fucking kick out! There we go. No, no, not again! I'm gonna break my controller. God damn it. Alright, we gotta do another game. But I'm not gonna give up until I see one more Steiner screwdriver and then we're done with this video. Let me try again. What our boy here needs to realize is there's nothing finer than doing the 69er with Scotty Steiner. Oh shit, Steinerized. He will not give me any, uh, it just, there is no mercy, no mercy for the weak. That's more like it. Now, even if I get my special bar up, I still think I'm going to really struggle to do this move because he just, every time, I'll, oh Jesus, what is going on? Oh, defeated again. No. I'm going to have to quickly learn Japanese and learn how to turn the difficulty down because I uh, I can't do this. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, no. Yeah, there we go. Wouldn't it be funny if it turned out the move wasn't even in this game and I'm totally wasting my time? I might have to... Whoa, no, that wasn't it. I might need to look this up. Okay, I just checked it out and it's done differently in this game. It's A and B together and not Y and B. So get your ass up. Get ready to get standardized. Here we go. Oh yes. Oh yes. I feel complete. So yeah, I think the New Japan games, they're okay, but the All Japan games are more suited to this type of video, you know, where you just want to pick up and play and show viewers, you know, what you can do. Whereas the New Japan games maybe take a bit more, you know, they're a bit more involved, you have to learn the timing a bit more, things like that. On the normal difficulty here, I got my ass kicked, as you saw. 
But yeah, they're okay. Right now, just from what I've played though, if I was going to pick between a New Japan or an All Japan game on the Super Famicom, I'd probably go All Japan at the moment. All right, so I felt a bit bad about, you know, ripping into the Joshi game so much. Not that I ripped into it, it just, I, I don't know, I just didn't enjoy it too much. So I wanted to show you this before I go. This is Cutie Suzuki Ringside Angel, and this was released not for the Super Famicom, but for the Mega Drive or the Genesis. I'll never have another opportunity to talk about this game, so I thought I would show you guys it. Especially uh, for you guys who watched Reliving the War and... You might be like me and you don't know much about Joshi Wrestling and, you know, and that that whole uh, side of, of the pro wrestling world. You might remember Cutie Suzuki from Monday Nitro when the when WCW had the women's division very, very briefly. And just to show you how big she was and, you know, how we didn't understand how big she was, she actually had her own video game. Uh, at the height of her popularity and this is it it's very different and again i, I would never have a another chance to, to show this so i might as well do it now before we go just as a just as an extra bonus kind of thing so yeah this is this is the game welcome to the exciting world you've, you've got quite a few characters here and oh i didn't want to do that but yeah you have halloween um Mia Mori Yajima, again, it's all names that I don't know, but I'm sure there, there there will be viewers out there who who know all these names, so pretty cool, but we'll go with uh, Cutie, just so you guys can, just to show you a bit of gameplay before I go. So basically, it's a tournament, as you can see, and check this out. <laughs> that's, how I, uh, that's how it decides who's going into the next round, sort of thing. So this is our match here, and you'll see this is very, very different. You can choose uh, different moves right here uh, if you would like to. I'd love to know what it says, but so check it out. This is the game. It kind of plays like, you know, it's on a, a 2D plane. If you look up in the top right there, you've got commentary going on, and it looks like it's Colonel Sanders calling the action. So it's very basic. You've got a punch button, a kick button, and another button, I think, is for just when you're locking up for extra moves. And yeah, very, very unique. Characters look pretty similar. You've got different colored uh, ring attires, of course, different hairstyles. There's a sharpshooter right there. It's Colonel Sanders up in the top right listening to that other guy call the action oh i really do wish i knew what, <laughs> what was being said up there I'm not sure how to go for the pinfall oh look at that so yeah just just something else to show you guys maybe something that you're interested in i don't know but sure is different and let's go for that sharpshooter again there's the pin Ah, oh, we've got Nick Patrick here. But yeah, something else for you to, to look at and ponder over. Cutie Suzuki had her own game on the Mega Drive. And we didn't know anything about it. And that was a look at a few Japanese Super Famicom Pro Wrestling games. The Pancreas game stood out for me because it was so unique and I had fun spending a little time with it. All Japan 1 and 2 were also fun and I would say the JWP Pure Wrestling Queens was at the bottom of the list but to be fair too, I didn't play these games enough to make a real decision so please remember that these are only my initial thoughts after playing the games for 20 or 30 minutes each. It's unfair to call a game bad without spending proper time with it and also the language barrier means I couldn't see all the options and modes available. This was just more like a showcase video. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this one as always, and please take care.